Oh, hello. Here we are again. It's a Monday afternoon. We're down here in the Juggalo Dungeon. You're here with me, Shovel of Precious Juggalos. Whoop whoop, everybody. Whoop whoop, JR, already here. Ready to go. So am I. Let's get to it. First things first. Question is, what beverage am I drinking today? Well, it's an excellent question. I did get some Fago, and I did get a flavor that I've only had one other time, and the last time I wasn't really sure it was fresh, so I was really doubting whether or not it was as good as it could be. Woo woo! Speaking, of course, of Peach Fago. So we're going to give it another shot today. Oh, there was a hiss. Last time there was no hiss. So that's that's a good start. That's a good start. I will say, though, I was waiting for a, a big peach punch in the air. Like I get when I pour orange or grape. Just don't smell it. Just, just not as potent. But that's okay. We'll give it a shot anyway. I like peach. I like peach as a flavor a whole lot. So, uh, here we go. First Fago break of the day. Yeah, it's just really understated. Not as, uh, in your face with flavor like some of their others. I mean, it's not bad. It does taste like peaches. And I'm glad I gave it another shot because it's definitely better than, uh, than the last time I had it. All right, so there's that. So, break's over. Let's get to work. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, what are we starting on today? First off, let me get rid of some of this moisture off the, the work top here. I have another commission piece. Uh, people seem to be big fans of... Uh, put those right there. Of uh, my butthole stuff. So... We're doing another butthole, but this time, one difference is uh, the first one we did was a uh, a boy. This one is a little girl. Same uh, same basic idea. The boy had uh, crayons and he had a box of or no, he had paintbrushes. Sorry, he was painting. So he in his back pocket he had some brushes. This little girl, she's doing it in crayon. Um, so there's a box of crayons on the ground here. No back pocket. She's holding a crayon in her hand. So, uh... JR, are you having a stroke? <laughs> you have, uh... Maybe you're driving. Maybe you shouldn't be typing in the chat right now. Maybe that's what's happening. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So this is what we're going to be working on. Obviously, we're going to be... Painting the face Juggalo, we're going to be painting the canvas to say, show me your butthole. The reason why is the person that commissioned this uh, works at a, uh, a salon that does, uh, you know, waxing of different areas of the body, uh, including some intimate spots, including, you know, buttholes and such, other holes and what have you. Uh, so yeah, so this will be a perfect little addition to sit in uh, in one of the spaces in the salon. Uh, I am going to do a little extra step on this one. Uh, I've talked before about how uh, I'm not a huge repeatsies kind of guy. Um, like not a not a factory that's just going to crank them out. Just well, other than the Beethovens, but uh, but yeah. I, I want each of these to be special. So this one, I'm going to try to tailor it to the salon. She already, uh, the customer sent me the link to the salon's Instagram. So there's, uh, there's some elements that I want to incorporate. They have a B in their logo that I think I'd like to paint real small on the pocket here. Um, ah, that's, I thought something was odd. Uh, glad you're not having a stroke. I was, I was concerned. I was concerned. Um, there's also a color scheme at the salon, so I'm, I'm going to try to incorporate some of those colors here. Uh, also, the uh, the client has um, um, like brunette hair uh, with some blonde highlights, so 
I think uh, instead of this girl being totally blonde, I'll try to I'll try to make the hair match a little bit better to the client. And that's the plan. Uh, that's a lot of things. I just said a lot of things. As I'm looking at this, I don't think I think that butterfly there has been uh, repaired. Um, and not very well. It looks like there's a little breakage right there. And uh, the butterfly on the boy, I remember, was uh, actually on the edge of the canvas. So I don't think anybody's going to freak out too much. It's just I happen to be kind of acutely aware of what these are supposed to look like. So uh, no big deal. It's all good. So how about we, uh, we just get started? I'll quit yammering and we'll start painting. How about that? One other thing. Um, number. Uh, well good question i think there was the the juggalo herald um there was the sandwich board where there was a sign on the front that said whoop whoop and on the back said show me your butthole that's the first one i did then there was the one that used to be a map that i turned into holding a sign that said show me your butthole then there was uh the boy version of this so yeah i think this is number five. Oh, and ten commandments that I did last week. So this, this is my sixth butthole. Huh. Really becoming a thing, isn't it? Good question, JR. <laughs> Took a stroll down memory lane, thinking about all my buttholes, and here we are. We're on butthole number six, and Jesus is curious about what's going on. Daffy, hello, sir. Lots of buttholes. So many buttholes. Um... But let's get to work on this one. Oh, what I was going to say is, uh, when I procured this one, uh, it happened to come in a uh, pair. So I have another boy version. So, exclusive to the stream, be aware there will be another butthole surfacing at some point. Um, I'm going to take some advice from some people on Facebook. The next one that I finish that is not a commissioned piece when I post it, I'm actually going to auction it um, and just let let it ride. We'll see how much it goes for. Um, so yeah, if people really want a butthole piece, they can either commission one from me or they can uh, they can pay up on uh, on Facebook, and we'll we'll just test the waters. If it goes well, then that's how I'll do them. Um, otherwise, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing and I'll take commissions and. Uh, I'll try posting them online, and then they'll sell within four minutes, and then everybody will be upset that they didn't have a shot, and then I feel bad about myself, and I beat myself up, and then I eat some ice cream, and I go to sleep. That is the cycle of life I'm in right now. So, whoop whoop, everybody. <laughs> um, is that the brush I want? Not really. Not really. Got some bristles that are doing the wrong thing right now. Let me see if I can't snip those off. Do a little brush maintenance here. Oh, I missed. Oh, that was a big jump. All right. That'll do it. Fixed it. It is a fully functioning paintbrush again. Oh, all right. On to the butthole. A little bit of that's what she said on that. Bada bing. Low hanging fruit, obviously. Paint the canvas. Easy to do. When in doubt, white it out. So if you missed the stream yesterday, uh, I was... Streaming 
without any uh, big announcement and without a without really even making it much of a show. I was really just had the cameras on while I was working. Uh, I knocked out six pieces yesterday. That's uh, that's a shovel record. I've never done so many pieces in a day. And I get some notifications from work. One second. One second. Alright, there we go. I'm back. Oh, okay. Alright, that is coat number one on the canvas. Moving on to the face. Having a little bit of a heat wave in Kansas City. And A, my body is not acclimated to heat yet. And B, I refuse to turn on my air conditioning. So, uh, so yeah, I've been, uh, last night I sweated myself to sleep. That was fun. We've got potential for big storms today. Excited about that. Ooh, there's some chunk in the paint. One sec. Let me clear that out of the brush there. There we go. There we go. I will say I knocked out six pieces yesterday, but I also was uh, not... Being very uh, participatory when it comes to uh, chatting and uh, chilling. <laughs> it really was just I turned the camera on and I painted. And uh, some people drifted in, some people drifted out. Some people talked a little bit. And I would respond a little, but not too much. Oh. I mentioned I don't like my job. I talked about that. Oh, uh, so... You'll notice there's a bit of a change to the background here. On Saturday, I built this, uh... This wall back here where a blanket used to, uh... Hang from... From the, uh, the joists above. So now we have a uh, high-class wall back there. And on that wall, I did hang my map that I'd talked about having in previous streams. Um, because I wanted to drop a pin, a physical pin, in all the different places that uh, people have bought from me. Um, it's not totally settled yet. Um, I do have a spotlight that's actually on order uh, that's probably arriving any minute now that I plan on uh, mounting up here to face that back wall to uh, cast some light on it to bring some more uh, dynamism or dynamics to the, uh, the overall scene. I plan on it being a purple spotlight to match the uh, LEDs on the side there. 
So yeah, it should uh should start looking pretty pretty cool. Uh should be up and running tomorrow, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Um, <laughs> actually, uh, I, I kind of want to color code things. So like right now, all of them are red, except for Kansas city, Kansas city's green. Um, the pen color, because I've sold quite a few here locally. I, I don't even know how many I've, I don't know, a dozen or more. I don't know. Um, actually probably more probably 15 pieces probably um so yeah so it got a green pin um i think there was one other city where or no it was a city and then a suburb that were really close together that i thought about doing one pin but i i you know i could fit two so i put two um but yeah i kind of you know some of those bigger cities i'm i'm sure i'll see more traffic um, so I don't know what the rules are I'm going to come up with for the multiple order thing yet. I mean, I actually have a repeat customer. Uh, somebody already beat you to it, JR, and I can't remember. I may have given her a, uh, special pen too. I don't remember. Yeah, I did. She got yellow. So there you go. One second. Let's all take a Fago break while I... Message somebody from work again. Sorry. Hopefully that'll be the end of that discussion. Now let me take a drink. Ah, delicious. You can, uh, can definitely see how humid it is. Look at, uh, look at that. It's probably the worst ring I've left under a Fago cup. Um... All right, let me see. Where is my... So much work the other day, I don't know where I put all my brushes. Huh. Interesting. There's one on the ground. What happened here? There's another one. And some crazy person clearly worked in here yesterday and just had their way with my studio. I don't know who that would have been. Um, anyway, there's a little bit of white I need to clean up here. Gonna get a little damp.
Okay, now we're going to get our knife. Oh, another thing that happened yesterday during the marathon of uh, painting. I, uh, I got myself a bowl of uh, fruity pebbles with marshmallows. And I was eating that for dinner down here. And uh, wouldn't you know it, I spilled it all over my worktop. So that was fun. So I keep finding little areas of stickiness. And it bothers me. I hate it. Hate it. All right, so there's one coat on the canvas, one coat on the face. Here we go. Coat number two. And my brush. Let's see if I can't clean that up a little bit. Get some funk out of that brush. Oh, maybe this is why I'm missing brushes. I keep knocking them on the ground. Threw them on the ground. All right. If you're just joining us, I just started this afternoon on this new commissioned butthole piece. This one will not be for sale. It is already sold. Sold to a customer that uh, does waxing as a job at a uh, salon or whatever parlor. They are probably shouldn't be out in public, he says. I don't know how to take that. I really am. I'm starting to think that you really are having a stroke, man. You all right? Oh, I trimmed up my brush and now it's dropping bristles. All right. I don't think that qualifies as coat number two. Did not adhere very well. Sweet, it's doing that thing where it's separating again. Okay. Leave it alone. Let it dry. Switch over to the face. We'll do another coat of white on her face. You know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and drop should I do white? Actually, you know what? I won't. Oh, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. My bad. Sorry, JR. It's just another service I provide here at Precious Juggalos. I uh, create conversation opportunities for parents with their children. Dad? Why is that man talking about painting buttholes? You can just say, oh, that's just Shovel. He's weird. Don't listen to him. <clears throat> that's just a thing he does. I don't know.
<laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could see that. So yeah, not just awkward conversations with your own children, uh, with anyone's children or any members of uh, society. It's like when I go into the library here locally and I'm trying desperately not to look over the shoulder of the homeless guy that's on the computer. What's he looking at? Nothing, kids. Let's just uh, get our books and get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Like running the gauntlet at the downtown branch of the library. Bad enough just trying to get in. It's like when uh, Mad Max is walking through Barter Town for the first time. That is a solid Mad Max reference, by the way. Okay, I believe I have adequately cleaned up the eyes. Gotten what little bit of overpaint out that was there. Um, the canvas is dry, so that's good. Let's see if we can't do a light coat that doesn't strip away. There we go. Very light brush. That's the secret. We're learning. We're learning. There we go. That is a clean canvas. That is ready for its very special subject matter. All right, we've done two solid coats on the face and the canvas, so it is time for our watered-down third coat on the face to get rid of any unsightly brush marks or any otherwise unsightly little bits, this kind of... Uh, Gives a real nice smooth finish if I do it right. <clears throat> if I don't water it down too much. Just, just enough liquid. Oh, there's some chunks. Very fine chunks. Which that kind of describes me. I'm a very fine chunk myself. Very fine. Oh, so one cool thing happened today, by the way. Uh, not that it matters to you guys so much, but I still want to, uh, you know, just acknowledge it. So this sticker right here that's on my desk, that's been on my desk really since I started streaming, is a sticker from a really good friend of mine, a mentor of mine, really. Um, and he actually bought a piece for me today. So that was... Uh, Felt real nice. 
real nice. All up in my feels with that that sale. And so, Steve, if you're listening, thanks, man. Love ya. Uh, I'm a, a very fine chunk, is what I was saying. <clears throat> Very fine chunk. All right, so there's our third coat on the face. See a little. A little spot over here that I like to be a little cleaner. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is going to dry real nice. Real nice, Clark. Real nice. Serious, Clark? <laughs> you keep hearing chum. Chunk. Chunk. Am I not enunciating? My bad. Chunk. Very fine chunk. Started with little chunks of paint. That were very fine, small chunks. And when I said very fine chunks, I said that describes me as well. I'm a bit of a chunk, but I'm also pretty fine. hey -o. So as a grown adult that was confused by uh, another grown man listening to a stream talking about buttholes, is that is that what I'm... Picking up on there. Ugh. What's wrong with one man talking to another man about buttholes? Come on now. I thought this was the United States of America. Alright, that is going to dry real nice. Oh, he, his kid was with him. Yeah, I can understand that. Let me, let me adjust this camera. Actually, it's kind of in a dumb spot. I don't know why. I but I'll tell you, building that false wall is nice because uh, now I, a lot more of the ugly basement is hidden, which was the whole idea of uh, of building it. Oh. Well, thank you, Daffy. Thank you for agreeing. Yeah, my dinner is in the crock pot right now, and it smells real good. Guess I shouldn't have trimmed this brush. Now it keeps dropping uh, bristles. pterodactyl. It's the cutest pterodactyl I've ever seen, though. Okay. I think the canvas is done. I think the face is done. <clears throat> I think I'm ready for dinner, but I still have uh, 25 minutes left in the stream, so distract myself. Stop thinking about food. Or I'll stop being a very fine chunk, and I will be a very uh, prominent chunk. Chunk. 
Shovel, professional brush cleaner. There we go. Okay, so we got a little, little wacky in this eye here. Don't like that. Clean that up a little bit. <laughs> and that gets you a visit. See, we have some uh, new folks joining in. Today I just started working on this piece here. We're on three coats of white on the face and on the canvas. The end goal of this piece will be for the canvas to say yet again, show me your b-hole. Maybe that helps out in public. People won't look at you so sharply if I say b-hole. Strangers and wives alike. What are you watching? Oh, just a man in his 40 talking about b-holes. Bob Ross never talked about buttholes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Clean up the canvas a little bit there. There we go. That looks better. Just need her face to dry. While we wait, though, one aspect of customizing this thing to fit the parlor that it's going to is I would like to incorporate some of their themed colors into the piece. So I'm thinking... Uh, no, Daffy is definitely not Primal. Um, Primal was actually in stream the other day. Uh, and he, his uh, handle is Primal as well. So if you see him, you'll definitely know him. He stands out. Whoop whoop, Wiggles. Whoop whoop! It's the first time I've played that today. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was looking up the, uh... Here, I had him on Instagram. Oh, Fred. Oh, one second. Let me... Open my messages. Come on. There, now it's okay. Alright, so this is the Instagram of the... Um, hair removal service. That's, that's what they call it. Um, yeah. So they've got some themed colors. This green is uh, a color they use a lot. Um, yellow and this, uh, kind of, I don't know, peach. Hey, there she is. Lo and behold, our customer has entered the chat. Hello, Caroline. Um, I was just talking about how I was going to customize this for you. So she is wearing a smock, um, and I was planning on painting the smock one of the colors from the business. And then there's a heart on the uh, the pocket here. I was planning on putting the B from the logo on that pocket. Hopefully. Hopefully. I don't... <laughs> I can paint a little bit. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how it goes. But that's where we're at. Um, the white part of her face and the canvas is done. Um, more than likely, this is going to take 
probably another hour of work tomorrow. I'll stream another hour of it tomorrow to finish it. But, oh, that's a nice kind of yellow, too. But then the bee wouldn't stand out. Okay. Let me see if I can mix up a good green. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, and a little bit of that. All right, here we go. Color matching 101. The sweetest sting. Oh man, um, like on the smock, like here, is that what you're saying? I saw that on here. Let me. I know I saw it in one of the logos. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. Um. Okay. Let me take a screenshot of that. Boop. Boop. Enhance. Enhance. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here and do that. Okay. That. I have terrible handwriting, just FYI. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try my best. And if it sucks, we'll just, uh, we'll paint over it and we'll try again. But we'll give it, we'll give it the old college try for sure. Definitely. Ooh, that sounds solid. All right, first things first, I want to replicate the green. That. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Hmm. All right, a little mixing action here. Let's see. It's actually not bad at all. Right out the gate, color matching. Caroline, I'm going to go ahead and pretend like I'm really good at this. So play along, okay? And this should get darker on the second coat, too. It should be a pretty decent match. I know it, it looks a little light right now, but it'll dry a little darker, and another coat will make it darker as well. Guarantee. 
Uh, this is the first time, JR. I've I've invited other other people in. Caroline is the first one to take me up on the invitation. And I appreciate it about her. Well, I guess technically, uh, since you, JR, you actually bought the piece that you watched me paint, you were also a client in the chat while I was painting, and I did take your input as well. <laughs> oh yeah, Wiggles, you too, that's right, yeah, yeah. Well, don't, don't tell Caroline, though. Caroline's special. She's the first one. No one's ever done it before. Only Caroline. <laughs> I took some of your input, Wiggles. I probably should have asked for input when I did the, uh, the blacklight sensitive stuff, because uh, I screwed that up real bad. Still feel, feel bad about that. But you also weren't expecting it, so... A little bonus at the end. Yeah, yeah. Caroline's the first one. Never happened before, boys. It is cool, though. I do, I do like uh, having the person getting the piece here. Because, like, uh, hey, Maya! Long time no see. Like JR and Wiggles can tell you, watching this happen, you kind of fall in love with it even more so. Ugh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Put my finger in the paint again. At least I caught it before I put my finger anywhere else. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Anyway. So, Caroline, I was telling everybody before that this is going in, uh... A studio space where uh you know you uh remove hair <laughs> from uh from very various body parts or body spots holes and such and that's how or why show me your butthole uh is so fitting it's kind of a perfect phrase for the situation Oh, sorry, I'm off camera there. My bad. Gonna need to mix up some more paint. For your own sake, I don't I don't think you want to. Um That is not something I've ever had done. Uh So it's pretty rough. <laughs> I also don't know how to how to properly phrase this, but, uh, I'm a pretty hairy guy. Don't let my lack of facial hair fool you. 
my body hair situation is robust. <laughs> well, and what I'm saying is I'm not hesitant because of, uh, you know, any fear of pain or anything. I'm more hesitant in putting you through something that I don't think you deserve. <laughs> Although I'm, I'm sure you've probably been exposed to some, uh, some pretty gnarly situations. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be showing anybody my butthole today, boys. And ladies. That is not in the cards for this stream. Sorry to let you all down. Remember, I, I'm a butthole inspector. I'm not a butthole presenter. And Carolina, I guess I should uh, explain that a little bit. Uh, that, that could sound... Uh, real awkward. I, I used to work for the sheriff's department. I used to work in the jail, so I've probably seen as many butts as you, um, more than likely. Or, actually, probably more. Um, anyway. <laughs> I've seen a lot of, uh, private areas in my day. Thankfully, I don't do that anymore. See, now that time it's too brown. Also, because of that, I have seen a lot of uh, potential clients of yours that I would never want to see again. Or I would not want you to see. Um, yeah. I've said before in stream, typically the people that I would be seeing in jail, um, you know, they've been up to some things and so that uh that area of their body is uh pretty pretty funky because of the running and uh fighting and chasing and whatnot they've been doing with the police and you know probably living on the streets a little bit so it uh generally was not a fun experience for me looking looking at all that the old squat and cuff and spread them. All right, spread them. Squat, cough, turn away. So glad that chapter of my life is in the past. <laughs> there were a couple of stops between uh, point A and point B. Um, my resume is pretty diverse and very strange. Honestly, uh, painting Juggalo stuff is not the strangest thing on my resume. It is strange, though. I'll give you that. It's also something I never really in, like, intended to happen. Just kind of fell into place. And so now we're here. Painting show me your butthole things. For nice people all around the country. <laughs> that can't get enough of it. Uh, 
Uh, the strangest thing I've ever done for a job. Um, well, I guess it's the totality that's so strange. I was a radio DJ for five years. Um, I worked at a ranch for a couple years in Idaho. Um, which is also strange. Um, I worked in television for a little bit. Uh, I worked at a skate park for a while. Ran a music venue for a couple years. Um, I was a warehouse manager for a fireworks warehouse. That was interesting. I worked at a restaurant in downtown Chicago for a while. Um, I worked in the business office, so I would count down the money every day. So literally counted tens of thousands of dollars in cash every day, which was crazy because uh, I had zero experience in doing that. I was 20 years old, and um, that was not the job I went there to interview for, and uh, it's the job I got. Uh, really, so the Juggalo thing, um, it's a good question. Uh, I, I consider myself to be a lot more, like, Juggalo adjacent. Um, I listened to Insane Clown Posse back in the, like, mid-late 90s. And then really didn't pay much attention after that point. Like, I still was aware of them, still was listening to the couple of albums that I owned. Um, but I was never like a, uh, a devout fan. Like I, I had awareness of Juggalos and I knew I didn't fit the bill. Um, so yeah, I, obviously I've become a lot more aware of Juggalo culture recently because of what I paint. Um, and really, I only started painting these things because, uh, you know, things being what they were during COVID, I just needed to have, like, kind of an outlet, something to, like, get the crazies out. And so I started painting Juggalo faces on things. I don't know why. And, uh, and then it just kind of, uh, gradually turned into what you see before you now. Live streaming on YouTube, painting Juggalo things. Talking to people like you from uh, different parts of the country. Um, but yeah, some of the guys in the stream here are part of a uh, Juggalo Discord that I'm part of. They're helping me learn the 20 years of Juggalo culture that I've missed. Which is helpful, um, for sure. It's also very interesting. Um, it's... A much bigger culture than one might know, like offhand. A lot more artists than I knew about. So yeah, I've I've been catching up, but uh, I'm still still don't have full awareness. Just so happens that apparently I liked them. ICP that is in, like, the prime. It just happened in at the right time. So I'm glad I did. Yeah, why Why not paint Juggalos? Yeah. A lot has happened. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do a color check real quick, just a spot check. I feel like it might be a little light. It's a little light. Okay. So what we're going to do... We're going to go a little drop of darker brown. Oop. We're going to mix that up real quick. Oh, because it's 530 already. 
Time flies when you're having fun. Okay. I'm going to do a fast coat. Oh, that's too brown. No, 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 no. No bueno, no bueno. You know what we need? We need a... Blue. Nope, I didn't shake that up. Color matching can be difficult. I'm not sure that's dark. <laughs> Thank you, Daffy. Yeah, that blue wasn't a dark enough blue. It's a little too creamy. Whoop. And that's what she said. Let me get... Pink. Let me get... A little touch of this. Dark. Oh, now we're losing our green entirely. Come on, now. Okay. I'm gonna drive myself crazy. This is how this goes. I'll do another drop of green in there. That was about twice as many drops as I planned on. Oh, oh, now we're cooking. Still a little too blue. Okay. Little more green. Yeah. It's everyone's favorite game. Color matching with shovel. Nope. Daffy, are you watching the storm? I just got an alert. Or I guess you're not on the clock right now, are you? If you're home with a screaming baby. A pterodactyl baby. Okay. Oh, we did wet on wet. We did the Bob Ross. Oh, I was just asking if you were paying attention to the weather. I just got an alert from emergency management. But that would be on my side of the river. Not yours. Your side might not care. Okay. I'm feeling better about this color. <laughs> the tried and true method of checking the weather. Okay, yeah, I feel good about this color.
Thank you, JR. Uh, I did add some new items in the shop. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this and you're liking what you're seeing, even though you're not really seeing uh, anything Juggalo quite yet, um, go check out my shop. I did add some cool uh, Beethoven busts with Violent J face paint. That are made completely in-house. I casted them myself. I painted them myself. Uh, and because of that, I'm able to keep the cost down on it. So they are the entry-level Precious Juggalos piece that I feel like anybody should be able to afford. See you, Daffy. Have a good dinner. Yeah, I'm going a little overtime today. But I got this paint mixed up just right right now, so I kind of have to take advantage of it. Yeah, the Wraith Girl. That was pretty sick. I really didn't have any idea. I wanted to do something special with her, but I couldn't think of anything to do. And then it just kind of dawned on me. She's wearing all this blue. Why not make it red? That hat is flopping over her head like a hood. That is very wraith-like. Bada bing, bada boom. Fashion wraith. All right, Caroline, if you're still watching, I know this looks a little sloppy. It won't be by the time I'm done. I am kind of slopping it in there right now, but I'll go back and clean it all up. I promise. It's actually the sloppiest I think I've ever painted, but I'm really trying to get it laid in there. while well, the paint is available. Okay. Oh, geez, that is an awkward angle. And sorry about, I kind of was ignoring chat earlier. Trying to just focus on Caroline. Uh, so no offense to any of you guys if I didn't react to or respond to anything y'all said. I just wanted to make sure that I was uh, getting things in a good spot for her to be happy. Okay. Oh, let's see. It goes up her chest.
Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Alright, if you're still with me, I think I am at a good stopping point. I have a lot of cleaning to do. I'm overpainting some things. But, I think I've got paint everywhere I need it to be for this apron. And, I think it's a fairly good match. It's a little brown. It's a little brown. A little brown. Huh. Now that I've put that all down, it's a little brown. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Okay, well... It is a little brown. It was greener than that. Let's think about what we can do to... I could do a light coat of green over the top. Maybe. Hmm. That is not a pleasant revelation here at the end. Well, I guess it's not terrible. Let me just fix this part on the face where I've got some green on her face. I think I need to wrap it up or I'm just going to drive myself crazy. And then I'm going to not like this piece. And that's just not going to lead to anything good. So let me wrap it up here. Say my thank yous to, uh, to JR and Daffy and Wiggles and Caroline and Maya. Um... For joining me today in the chat all the creeps and listeners thank you as well clearly had quite a few of you popping in and out uh so thank you if you enjoyed what you saw hit like on this video please and subscribe follow me on all the other socials i'm on facebook i'm on instagram obviously here on youtube uh i'm in a juggalo discord server there's a link for that in the chat above if you're into juggalo stuff 
or just curious about juggalo culture, juggalo folks. Um, yeah, it's, I guess it's drying better. Um, initially I wasn't happy, but I'm, I'm starting to feel better about it now. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're into juggalo stuff, click on that link in the chat above. Join that Discord server. Hang out with uh, guys like me, guys like JR, guys like Wiggles. And lots of other people. Otherwise, thank you again to Caroline for commissioning this piece. By the time it's done, I'm going to be a lot happier. Right now, I'm not super stoked. Um, Because it's just, I don't know. I'm also doing doing a little bit more to customize this one than I than I have previously, which is cool. I like it. Um, I'm just struggling with it, but it'll be great by the time we're done. Guarantee it. So if you'd like to watch more, join me back here tomorrow. I stream every Monday through Friday here on YouTube from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Tomorrow I'll be working on this. Uh, we'll do episode two. We'll probably start on, well, not probably. We will start on the face paint. We will add the, um, the sweetest sting, uh, text on this pocket area. It's going to be real tight, real small. I'm going to try my darndest. Uh, and then obviously adding the show me your butthole phrase to the canvas. So that's where we're at for the day. Thanks again for joining me. Love you all. Uh, wise words of the day. I don't know. Uh, if you're hot, um, you know, take your jacket off, dummy. What are you doing? That's all I got. I'll see you all tomorrow. Love you. 